thank you so much for taking the time to meet with me. I'm so excited to get to learn more about you. Um, and I just want to ask you a few questions about your upcoming single doses. Um, yeah. I'm really excited. I had an advanced listen to the track and it has a very playful, mellow pop vibe. Um, you actually just performed it at New York Fashion Week, right? Yeah. Yep. It was actually, that was, that was a good experience. I'm not going to lie. That was super crazy. Yeah. How does that feel? That is crazy. It honestly feels, it feels amazing. I'm not going to lie. Cause I want to get more into the fashion scene in general. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's a really big step, especially in like an artist's career. You know what I'm saying? It's one of the biggest steps you can take. That's huge. I would be so nervous. Were you nervous at all? Or is this just <laughs> natural? I think it was a good nervous. Like, it was a, <laughs> It was like it was like I'm wondering, all right, what can I improve on from my other shows that I could do here differently? You know what I'm saying to make make it make it seem more of an experience, and and I want to keep enhancing on that as I do more. <laughs> um, what was your creative process or I guess inspiration for the single? Yeah, um, you know what I'm saying I, I I'm I'm a love bug. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know what I'm saying uh, I I had to I had to. My music has been very, I could say, like a sad feel to it uh, in the past. So th this record, I want it to be more more of a happy vibe, more of a, you know what I'm saying, something that people could actually have a good vibe to and really, really just be more happy when they listen to me. You know what I'm saying? And this was more about love, more about wanting love instead of actually wanting to push it away. I was going to say, this sounds a little different than your other songs and projects in the past. So... <laughs> yeah, I'm excited for it to come out. Um, okay, I mean, you're 19 years old. Uh, Rolling Loud, New York Fashion Week. Uh, I mean, your video for Save Me. Uh, Cole Bennett, you were working with Cole Bennett. I mean, how does that feel? Like, how do you keep yourself grounded? I know I'm thinking at my, of myself at 19. Oh, I'd be going crazy. So like, <laughs> how do you like, you know, handle that? Yeah, trust me, it's a lot of, uh, it's a lot of humps in the road for sure. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like trying to get used to everything that's that's coming your way. Right. But um, I can say I definitely am handling a lot of stuff like the the way I, I had wish I would have at first. You know what I'm saying? But now I feel like I'm learning and, and just becoming more and more of like a, a true artist every day. And honestly, it, it gets crazy, but but you just got to remember to be humble about it and accept everything that comes your way because not this much stuff has happened before at all. No. Yeah. I would argue that you're part of this like modern new wave sound, this like renaissance of rap, if you will, of, you know, these different young artists coming in and kind of shaking things up. You know, your sound is completely different than other rappers. Um, you know, it, you see and hear different parts of different genres. Um, you know, how would you describe your style? Do you have a genre that you think you are? Um, I would say I would say I'm a pop artist um just just because of the fact that uh like even in rap even in rap I like to use pop melodies like and but I think it's really versatile I try to be as versatile as I can be just be out of the box honestly like I'm ready just to expand my audience as much as I can that's awesome um I know Kevin shared with me shout out to Kevin um that your mom was actually in a band back in the day? Yep, yep. Their name was Chick Flick. Oh my, tell me about that. I mean, yeah, I, that is crazy. I, I used to watch her. I used to watch her all the time. Like, because <laughs> um, she used to perform at like bars and, and, and you know what I'm saying, a lot of local places. So I used to be able to actually go out with and see her actually perform. It was cool to see. And also, I used to watch them practice in the basement all the time. That's really where I got my spark from, I feel like, because I just would see them in the process of, of getting ready to actually go out and do that in front of people. I just, how does it come full circle? Like now your mom is watching you perform. I mean, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, it, it's kind of it's kind of crazy, but she loves watching like lives or, or live streams and everything. She's she's not much of an outside person, so <laughs> she does like to be in the house. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> I can but, relate. Uh, I can relate. Definitely, she loves she loves seeing everything happen, and and I do want to bring it to to whenever I'm on tour or or you know what I'm saying, just really going crazy, especially like, international. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Can we anticipate a tour from you soon? Yes, you can. <laughs> Honestly, I'm going to know that it's going to be one of the craziest tours you've seen. Yes. 
I think one of the most unique things about your sound is that, um, you know, you're not afraid to tap into your emotions and have a lot of this feeling. I know you mentioned that it's, you know, some of your previous singles have been a little sad or more on the like melancholy vibes. Um, where do you get that? What do you think uh, motivates you to show that emotion and those feelings? I mean, it's probably hard being a young 19 year old being so vulnerable. Yeah, I, I feel like it has a lot to do with me being very like cut off to myself as growing up and just listening to the people I did, including my mom, including like I listened to a lot of Justin Bieber growing up, you know, <laughs> Michael Jackson. And one thing in common that they all had was they all weren't afraid to talk about how they were feeling, you know. So uh, I feel like a lot of that music inspiration really rubbed off on me as a kid. And now I'm, I'm not afraid of really talking about anything that's going on in my life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. Um, what has been the biggest struggle that you found, um, you know, on the come up with fame and popularity and just your music growing? What's been the biggest challenge or hurdle? Um, I feel like it's getting used to it. Uh, getting used to a lot of like things that come your way and, and just being able to handle it in a light manner. You know what I'm saying? To understand that everything is always going to be different. Like, you always gotta you always gotta reach more out the box to actually obtain the goals that you really want to go for and and uh I don't know I feel like it was a lot it was a lot to just learn you know what I'm saying but especially growing up to in today's age where internet is so easy to access so you're a little bit more yes sensitive to everything you know what I'm saying like you're more sensitive so I uh, and I feel like that's a, a thing that me and a lot of other kids have in common so I don't know I just want to uh, really put light on that factor that's amazing um where do you see yourself you know just in the near future even like the next five years like what's your biggest goal what do you want to accomplish I want to sell out Madison Square Garden oh <laughs> I want to sell out Madison Square Garden I want to I want to go um across seas and do some of the fashion shows um and I want to get multiple number one records that's amazing I going back to your mom that brings me to my next point uh you know did she kind of take you seriously when you were getting into music did she support you or was it kind of like oh just a hobby I was, uh that was my number one supporter ever since oh wow like, day one like even I honestly I'm, I'm I feel like I'm too lucky to have her because <laughs> like doing bad in, in school and I wasn't doing bad on purpose it's just like I was good in school whenever I was there it was just I had a hard time waking up you know what I'm saying I had a she had to leave out before me um so I literally missed so many days of school and and you know what I'm saying she she was able to, to be okay with me going to online school that gave me more to focus on you know just music in general and I was able to enhance my sound more and that's what I really wanted as a, you know what I'm saying, just growing up, even in school, I was like, I just want to make music. Like, I don't know. It, I feel like she was too supportive sometimes. Uh, I was about to say, at I, what point, at what point were you like, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm committing everything to. It was middle school, like end of oh, wow. middle school, eighth grade. Uh, that's, that's when my attendance started getting a little bit bad now, and I <laughs> <laughs> I was at home working on music so I was just like yeah this is kind of what I love though you know yeah the I mean, so dark right now we're on we're under I don't know where <laughs> oh that's amazing I was gonna say the truancy officer is probably watching this and you're just airing out all your dirty <laughs> laundry here um I guess I have to ask I know you've probably answered this a million times I know this but uh what does the x stand for in your name why choose that um, I had put it in my name uh, not much longer after XX, X had passed away. And yeah. That's just because I, I did it in a sign of respect because he, he had a good message as into just not letting like other people's opinions bring you down and, and always go about positivity even when you're negative, you know, just because that energy really affects other people around you. So I, I, I took that as a a very great message you know what I'm saying and I, I just roll with that throughout the rest of my time I never want to shed any light, negative light on anybody you know yeah I think that's extremely refreshing to hear that positivity and just paying you know homage to people that you are influenced by and I think that's huge 
Um, I have one more question for you. I promised I would keep this short. Uh, going back to your upcoming release of Doses, um, what do you hope for when your fans listen to it? I hope they hear the new me. <laughs> yes, I could definitely hear that. I hope they hear the new me and see the new me. You know, I'm pretty sure they see it already. They saw the haircut. They're like, damn. Uh, <laughs> I know. I was like the new hair, the fresh cut. You know what I'm uh, saying? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to look like a pop star here. Not, uh, not a rapper. <laughs> not a rapper. <laughs> Do you think they're going to be receptive to it? Do you think you're going to get any hate? No, I, I, I've mostly seen um, good comments, honestly. And there's only a few, a few that, that will be like, why did you do that? Why did you cut your dreads? <laughs> it, it's just like a personal thing, you know? <laughs> you got to keep mean, it fresh. Like, you gotta and keep it's it. a worldwide thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, I lied. I have one more question. No, no, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you have any upcoming projects on the horizon? Yes, I have one that I'm working on right now called Loverville. Ooh. And the my craziest project yet i promise you Ooh, what makes it crazy i'm excited oh it's so out of the box it's insane to me. like it's so out of the box like not even trying to hype myself up or anything just i'm just saying in general it's out of the box like it doesn't sound like anything that's out right now can we anticipate a more pop vibe or a more sad vibe i think a more pop vibe is r&b vibe um something that everyone can do with. Amazing. We're looking forward to it. Well, thank you so much for meeting with me. That means the world to me. Um, we are going to be working with Euphoria Magazine to get you some coverage on doses. Um, I'm excited for it to release. Uh, I'm excited for Rolling Loud. I'm excited for everything. So thank you so much. We appreciate it so much. Thank you for having me. Yes, of course.